All right. Yeah. We're back. So um, I'm going to retrace a, a few seconds here just to make sure that, <clears throat> excuse me, we're all on the same page. So we were talking about uh, about sort of breaking the electrolytes into different categories of strong and weak. And I had gone through the information on strong electrolytes um, and how, like the example of the hydrochloric acid um, ionizing in solution, turning into the ions, right? Uh, so I was going to do some little bit of diagramming here. Um, a strong electrolyte, when it goes into solution, will split up. So if we have a a solution with a strong electrolyte. And if this enters, This enters into the enters into the solution. It will almost all of it will completely ionize into the respective ions. Okay, so a strong electrolyte is almost all ions in solution. Okay. So if you put HCl in, essentially you would end up with the H plus and the Cl minus ions. Okay. A Weak electrolyte Okay, a weak electrolyte are solutes that exist in solution in mostly in the form of molecules with a small fraction in the form of ions. So for example, acetic acid, um, so if we have acetic acid, I'm gonna write it, I'm gonna write it the way that we normally write it, um, that like we used to write it in Chem 1 or whatever. Um, so, H, And then let's see, there's a different color. Can you see that? If it's C2. H3. O2. That's the acetate ion, the C2H3O2. Uh, the way they have it on the notes is the same thing. It's just broken up a little differently. Okay, so if we have this and we have our, uh, let's see. Okay. 
Okay, we have our solution here. When this enters, okay, a weak electrolyte will actually do, um, it'll do one of three things. Most of it, you will find, stays together as the Um, okay, hold on. I just realized that this is not going to end well. Okay, so some of it, some of it breaks into the ions, the H plus and the C2, H3, O2, negative one ions. Sorry for the glare. There you go. So some of it does that while a decent majority of it actually will stay together as the H C2 H3O2 molecule. So essentially, in the solution, you get all um, you get all three things. Okay. And I'm gonna have to pause again. Okay. Sorry about that. So I had to uh, pause in the middle there. Um, so I was finishing up talking about the, the weak electro, we were talking about the weak electrolytes here. Um, most of them, as I, we said, will most will say as molecules, um, but some will ionize. So when it goes into the solution, like the acetic acid, you'll get some of them breaking up into the ions, but you will get some that stay together as the whole molecule, actually a decent amount of them. So in the solution, you will have all three things. You'll have ions of the, both the cation and the anion and the whole molecule in a weak electrolyte, okay? And then I've already drawn it out here. The third one will be a non-electrolyte. In a non-electrolyte, such as sugar, uh, the entire thing will stay as molecules. So when, when sugar dissolves in water, none of it ionizes at all. So it will entirely stay as molecules. So between the three, you've got the strong electrolyte, which completely ionizes. You've got the weak electrolyte, which has some of both. And then you've got the non-electrolyte, which is only molecules. Okay. Now, if we go back to the notes section of this, uh, so we had the strong electrolyte. The reaction only occurs in one direction because it it only ionizes. A weak electrolyte, however, like acetic acid, will have some of both. So the uh, ionizing and solution for that looks kind of like this. And then we have these little half arrow deals. Okay. And then on the right side are the ions. So what this means 
Uh, what this means is that the reaction works in both directions at the same time. So in other words, the, uh, the acid, acetic acid, some of it breaks up into ions. And at the same time in the solution, some of the ions are coming back together and forming the molecules again. Okay, so you have, uh, you have both. And this, so this reaction is kind of, it's, it's almost like cyclical. Like you'll get some of these in the solution breaking up into ions. And at the same time, you'll get some other ions and other places floating around that are coming back together and, and reforming the molecule. That's what the half arrows in the both direction mean. Okay. Do not equate strong or weak designation to the solubility of the solute. In other words, all of these dissolve. We're talking about ionization here, not the solubility. Okay. So the last part of this, these notes are uh, chemical equilibrium. The state in which the relative numbers of each type of ion or molecule in a reaction are constant over time. So over time, the weak electrolyte will reach an equilibrium where you have approximately, a, like you have a consistent number of molecules and ions. Not the same, but it's pretty consistent because as these, as the molecules turn into ions, then as you get more ions, then some of the ions come together and form molecules to keep that balance. Okay, now it doesn't mean they're equal. It just means that there's a, like a, about a ratio that is, that is maintained and an equilibrium. Okay. All right. So that is it for this set of notes. Uh, as usual, if you have questions, oh, let me know.